Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here in qualification match number six. 148, the Robo Wranglers making two of their shots, heading back into the trench to pick up five more power cells. Looks like they're going to line up and try and make some more. All five going in. A seven ball autonomous by the 148 machine. It's a 35-10 lead as students now take control of their machines. Another volley of four power cells going in by the Red Alliance. 7503 on the Blue Alliance side, missing their three shots. We're now under two minutes left to play. 52-10, Red Alliance in the lead as Robo Wranglers are heading back to their feeder station, looking to load up on five more power cells. Heading back through the rendezvous point. They're going to take aim at that Red Alliance goal, making four of their five shots. Meanwhile, 75-03 making a couple for the Blue Alliance as Blue trying to close the gap. It's now 62-14 in favor of Red with under a minute and a half left to go. 148 lining up again. Another five power cell volley by the Red Alliance. And it's now 70-14 with under 80 seconds left to go. Here comes 75-03. That is making a couple shots towards the Blue Alliance's goal. All of their shots coming up short. It's now a power cell buffet over here on the red scoring side of the field in 148. Cleaning up all these power cells. Heading back over to their trench. Looking to line up. And there goes another four or five in by the Red Alliance. 86-14 red firmly in control here with under 45 seconds left to go. Here comes 7503 on the Blue Alliance side. Two power cells in their possession. They're lining up to make some more shots for Blue. Looks like they're having some trouble getting their power cells up. Oh, one going in to the inner port for the Blue Alliance. And it's now 16 to 90 in favor of Red. 148 missing some of their shots over from the trench. 18 seconds left. Looks like 148 is going to go and try and climb and seal this one for the Red Alliance. Trying to make sure they're balanced. Up they go. And looks like they are good with five seconds left to go here in qualification match number six. I don't think the Blue Alliance is going to have any climbers on their alliance. And there's the buzzer on match number six. All right, scores for match number six going up on the screen. And it's going to be the Red Alliance winning this one. Final score, 140 to 26. Red Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match.
Let's start things off for qualification match number seven. First up on our field, we have 66.55. Texan Robotics from Arlington. Up next, we have 77.04. From Justin F. Kimball High School, it's Kimball E-Tech at Mountain View College. Completing our Red Alliance, we have 33.70. From Jackie Singley Academy, it's Aftershock. Over on our Blue Alliance to start things off, we have 67.51. From Sunset High School, it's Robo Flash. Up next, we have 71.19. The Sunset Robo Bison from Sunset High School. Completing this alliance, we have 41.92. Jaguar Robotics from Flower Mound High School. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Qualification match number seven. Blue Alliance is 71-19, heading over to the low port for the Blue Alliance, feeding some power cells down low. Looks like that is going to be all the scoring we're going to see here in Autonomous. Students take control of their robots. It's a 21-5 lead for the Blue Alliance. Early on, we'll see if the Red Alliance can catch up. Here comes 77-04. 
on the Red Alliance trying to block out 71-19 from going to their feeder station. I think they actually meant to go to their lower port. Meanwhile, here comes Jaguar Robotics out of Flower Mound, sending a couple shots up high for the Blue Alliance as Blue now leads 38 to 10 with 105 seconds left to go. 7704, that's Kimball E Tech looking for some more power cells up by the Red Alliance's side of the field. Here comes the Sunset Robo Bison lining up next to their two Alliance partners, trying to find a place to take some shots. They need some space at the low port for the Blue Alliance. There goes a couple shots up high by Jaguar Robotics. 45 to 10, Blue Alliance in the lead with 75 seconds left to go. Jaguar Robotics going out hunting for more power cells. Lots of power cells over on the Blue scoring side of the field. So plenty of ammunition for the Blue Alliance to collect here with a minute left to go in qualification match number seven. 71-19 looking to line up on the low port, trying to get those two power cells out of their robot for one point apiece. Blue with a very comfortable lead here so far in match number seven. Jaguar sending a couple shots short on the blue line side of the field. 40 seconds left to go. Almost every robot is over on the blue scoring side of the field. Here comes 7704 for the Red Alliance. Heading over, trying to score some power cells in the low port for the Red Alliance. Red needing to score an awful lot of points here in the final 20 seconds of match number seven in order to catch up. Jaguar Robotics missing a couple more shots for the Blue Alliance. Trying to get up a little closer to make their shots. See if they can get there. 67-51 on the Blue Alliance and 77-04. Both trying to get their climbers up. Looks like 67-51s may have fallen off of their robot. And that's the buzzer on match number seven. All right, scores for match number seven going up on the screen. And it's the Blue Alliance winning this one. Final score, 66-15. Blue Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match.
Let's kick things off for qualification match number eight. First on our Red Alliance, we have Team 7506. The Wild Cards from Arlington, Texas. Up next, we have 118. The Robonauts from League City, Texas. Completing this alliance, we have 7321. From Irving, it's Aguila Robotica. Over on our Blue Alliance, we have 5212. Representing the Texas Academy of Mathematics and Science, it's Tam's Formers Robotics. Up next, we have 3355. Purple Vipers from Uplift Summit International Preparatory. Completing this alliance, we have 1745. From Pierce High School in Richardson, it's the P51 Mustangs. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here in qualification match number eight. 118 trying to find the Red Alliance's target. Don't think they're going to find it here. That's the end of Autonomous. And there we go. Looks like we have some delayed real-time scoring once again. Meanwhile, 52-12 for the Blue Alliance, shuttling some power cells over to the red scoring side of the field. A shot going a wide a left for the 118 machine over there on the red scoring side of the field. 118 trying to get locked on with the Red Alliance's goal. Looks like they're having some trouble shooting so far. Still a 0-0 match according to real-time score here with 100 seconds left to play in match number eight. Here comes 3355 for the Blue Alliance, taking a shot right at the 118 driver station. Too bad there's no points for hitting driver stations here in this game. Meanwhile, 118 still trying to figure out some control issues over on the near side of the field. There goes 3355 making a shot in to the Blue Alliance's power port. 37 to nothing right now. Blue Alliance in the lead according to real time scoring. Here comes 1745. One. Shot going in, the rest falling a little short for the Blue Alliance, but that helps push the Blue Alliance's lead to 39 to zero with a minute left to play. 75.06 for the Red Alliance trying to get lined up on their power port, see if they can help close the gap for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, 118 lining up in their trench, still trying to work through some control issues they're having here in match number eight. 
40 seconds left to go. 33-55, sending a shot over the top of the Blue Alliance's goal. 39-0, Blue Alliance in control here with 30 seconds left to go. We'll see if we have any climbers here in match number eight. Red Alliance could steal this one with a couple of well-timed hangs. It looks like we have one red robot attempting to climb. 1745 trying to do the same for the Blue Alliance. 13 seconds left to go. 1745 still trying to get hooked onto that Blue Alliance switch. Don't know if we're going to be able to have any climbers here on in match number eight. One second, and there's the buzzer on the match. All right, scores for qualification match number eight going up on the screen. And it's going to be the Blue Alliance winning this one. Final score, 48 to 20. Blue Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match. We are going to start things off for qualification match number nine. First on our Red Alliance, we have 6672. Sponsored by Lockheed Martin, Dallas World Aquarium, and Rusty Taco, it's Fusion Core. Up next, we have 8055. From Frisco, Texas, it's Boss Bots. Completing our Red Alliance, we have 5431. Titan Robotics from Plano ISD Academy High School. Over on our Blue Alliance, we have 3802. Robopop from Carrollton, Texas. Up next, we have 6369. The pride of McKinney, it's Mercenary Robotics. Completing this alliance, we have 7319. From Garland, Texas, it's one up.
drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here in match number nine. Some quick shots going in by the Red Alliance. Boss Bots and Fusion Core filling up that Red Alliance power port. Couple of shots going in. Just going wide left for the Blue Alliance. It's a 45-27 lead for the Red Alliance as students take control of their machines. Some shots going way over onto the other side of the gym by the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, 54-31 and Fusion Core both trying to load up along with their partner, the Boss Bots, 80-55. Fusion Core and Titan Robotics both firing a bunch of power cells into that Red Alliance power port. It's a 55-33 lead for Red now. Just over 100 seconds left to play. Here comes Titan Robotics heading over to their feeder station, starting to load up on more power cells. Boss Bots trying to do the same. Fusion Core sending a bunch more power cells up through the Red Alliance power port. Boss Bots still trying to pick up some power cells over from their feeder station on the blue side of the field. The Mercenary Robotics coming over to the red scoring side of the field, trying to play some defense on Titan Robotics. Titan Robotics staying in that protected area. Meanwhile, Robopop sending a couple shots up high for the Blue Alliance. Blue now trailing 65-37 with a minute left to play. Here comes Fusion Core, 66-72. Another shot going up and in for the Red Alliance. Robopop sending one shot in, but three missing that Blue Alliance power point. It's now 67-39 with 45 seconds left to play. 80-55 of the Red Alliance with a bunch of power cells in their possession, trying to head over to their scoring side of the field. Meanwhile, 54-31, trying to get in position to climb later on here in match number nine. 71-39, red in control right now. See if we can have our first double hanging match. See if we can get a third ranking point here for the Red Alliance. Titan Robotics reaching up, waiting for a partner to come climb with them. They're just gonna go up anyways. Boss Bots and Fusion Core both going to hang out in the Red Alliance's rendezvous port. 63-69 trying to climb, but the buzzer rings on match number nine. All right, scores for match number nine going up on the screen. And it is the Red Alliance winning this one. Final score, 104 to 53. Red Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match.
It's time to say hello to the teams in qualification match number 10. First up on our Red Alliance, we have 54-14. Paradox from Pearland, Texas. Up next, we have 71-20. Thunder Chicas from Dallas, Texas. Completing our Red Alliance, we have 33-55. From Arlington, it's Purple Vipers. Over on the Red Alliance, we have 75-35. From Arlington, it's Purple Poison. Up next, we have 32-82. From Dallas, it's the Dallas Robo Tigers. Completing this alliance, we have 65-26. From Garland, it's the Cyber Rangers. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here. Qualification match number 10. Paradox making a couple shots up high for the Red Alliance. Looks like that is all the scoring we're going to see here in Autonomous. And here we go in teleoperated. 13 to 5, Red Alliance in the lead here. Paradox quickly heading back into the Red Alliance's trench on the near side of the field. Looking to load up on more power cells. Meanwhile, 75-35 and their partner, 32-82, both trying to get lined up to take shots on the Blue Alliance's power port. A lot of power cells going up, but none of them going in. Meanwhile, the Thunder Chicas, that's 71-20, feeding some power cells down low for the Red Alliance for one point apiece. Here comes Paradox, 54-14, trying to feed some power cells through their robot and up into their shooter. Looks like they may be having some trouble getting those power cells through their robot. Still a 10-point lead for the Red Alliance, 15-5, with just under a minute and a half left to go. Not a lot of scoring going on right now here in match number 10. 71-20 trying to cross into the rendezvous point and get some more power cells. Looks like almost all the power cells on the field are here in the center of the field. 32-82, that is the Dallas Robo Tigers trying to load up on some power cells over by the Blue Alliance's feeder station. Thunder Chica still looking to grab some more power cells of their own, driving around through the rendezvous point. Paradox now looks like they are heading over to the Red Alliance's switch. Looks like they're going to try and climb at the end of the match. 46 seconds left to go. 10-point lead for the Red Alliance still. Robo Tigers heading back over to the red scoring side of the field, looking to pick up more power cells. Blue did manage to score one power cell down low. It was a bounce shot off the field. That sound means that we are in our final 
30 seconds of match number 10. Paradox trying to reach up with their climber. See if they can help secure this victory for the Red Alliance. None of the blue robots look like they are interested in climbing. Here comes Paradox still trying to get lined up on that Red Alliance switch. A couple more shots going up high for the Blue Alliance. Doesn't look like any of them made it in. 21 to 6 in favor of the Red Alliance as the buzzer rings on match number 10. All right, scores for match number 10 going up on the screen. And it's going to be the Red Alliance winning this one. Final score, 26 to six. Red Alliance picking up the two Reiki points for winning the match.
We are getting things started for qualification match number 11. First up on our Red Alliance, we have 66-55. From Arlington, it's Texan Robotics. Up next, we have 54-31. Titan Robotics from right here in Plano. Completing our alliance, we have 63-69. Sponsored by Emerson Process Management, it's Mercenary Robotics. Starting things off for our Blue Alliance, we have 118. Sponsored by NASA, it's the Robonauts. Up next, it's 7119. Sunset Robo Bison from Sunset High School. Completing this alliance, we have 8055. From Frisco, it's Boss Bots. Drivers behind the lines, three, two, one, go. All right, here we go, qualification match number 11. Blue Alliance scoring a few power cells up high for themselves, looks like 63-69. Trying to do the same for the Red Alliance. 29 to 16, Red Alliance up early on here in match number 11. Boss Bots and Robonauts sitting idle for the Blue Alliance, could be trouble for blue. Meanwhile, here comes Mercenary Robotics, 63-69. Another shot going low. 63-69 getting a shot going up high, finally. Meanwhile, here comes Titan Robotics, sending a volley of power cells up high through that Red Alliance power port. It's now 39-26 in favor of Red with just over 100 seconds left to go. Here comes Boss Bots making some long-range shots for the Blue Alliance. Here comes Mercenary Robotics now trying to get those power cells through their robot. Looks like one maybe jammed up in their intake, preventing it from getting to their shooter. Titan Robotics quickly reloading for red, zooming through that rendezvous point. Complete disregard for the safety of their robot. They're looking to get lined up and take some more shots, but the Blue Alliance trying to play some defense. Defense somewhat effective, making Titan Robotics miss a couple of shots. Robonaut still sitting idle over on the blue side of the field with just over a minute left to play. 53-32, to 32, Red Alliance in the lead now. Titan Robotics traversing the field again, looking to line up and take another shot at that Red Alliance power port. Sunset Robo Bison continuing to try and play some defense on Titan Robotics, slowing down the Red Alliance attack here. Mercenary Robotics sending one power cell up high through the Red Alliance's power port. Meanwhile, Boss Bot's trying to get ready to make some more shots for Blue. Up goes five shots going in to the Blue Alliance's power port. It's now 53-41. Blue Alliance trying to mount a comeback here in match number 11. Boss Bots look like they may have deployed their climber a little too early. Titan Robotics trying to go up for the Red Alliance. See if we can get our first double hanging match here at the Plano District event. Mercenary Robotics trying to go up as well. Both Red Robots struggling to get up on that switch with three seconds left to go. Two, one, and that's the buzzer on match number 11.
All right, scores for match number 11 going up on the screen. And it is the Red Alliance winning this one. Final score, 78 to 51. Red Alliance getting both ranking points for winning the match. We are moving on to qualification match number 12. First up, we have 6672. From Cistercian Preparatory School in Irving, it's Fusion Core. Up next, it's 5682. Representing North Mesquite High School, it's Equus Engineering. Completing this alliance, we have 7535. Purple Poison from Arlington. Over on the other side of the field, we have 7091. It's Atlas Orbis from Uplift Luna Preparatory School. Up next, it's 3802. Robopop from Prince of Peace Christian School. Completing this alliance, we have 4192. Sponsored by Apple, it's Jaguar Robotics.
drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here in qualification match number 12. Robopop sending some shots up high for the Blue Alliance. Fusion Core trying to do the same for Red. Looks like we got an extra shot out of Robopop over here on the far side of the field. As drivers take control, it's going to be a 22-19 lead for the Blue Alliance. Just over two minutes of teleoperated control left here in match number 12. Jaguar Robotics trying to get lined up on the Blue Alliance's power port. Meanwhile, Fusion Core making a couple shots from the Red Alliance's trench. Trying to get that third power cell up and in, and it's good. Red now reclaiming the lead 26 to 22 with 105 seconds left to go. Fusion Core reloading on power cells, heading back into the trench. Meanwhile, Robopop making a shot for the Blue Alliance. Looks like they may have a power cell jammed in their intake. Minute and a half left to play. It's a one point lead for the Red Alliance, but here comes Fusion Core sending another volley of power cells in. Pushing the Red Alliance lead to 34 to 25 with 80 seconds left to go. Jaguar Robotics now heading over to the rendezvous point. Looks like they're going to get lined up to possibly climb later on in the match or come over and play some defense on the Red Alliance's scores. Here comes Fusion Core lining back up, taking a shot at the 7091 driver station. Once again, hitting driver stations are worth zero points. Got to get them up and into the, their alliance's power port. Here comes Fusion Core heading back into the trench, getting contacted again by Robopop. Two more shots going in. Let's see if Fusion Core can make it a third, and it's up and good. Red Alliance now leading by 11, 41 to 30 with 35 seconds left to play. Jaguar Robotics, that's 41-92, trying to get a power cell up and into their robot while they're playing defense on Fusion Core. Fusion Core now trying to get lined up to climb here as we are in the final 17 seconds of match number 12. Fusion Core still trying to get lined up on that Red Alliance switch. Don't think we're going to see any climbs out of the Blue Alliance. Fusion Core still trying to get their climber lined up. Four seconds left to go. Still an 11-point lead for the Red Alliance. And there's the buzzer on qualification match number 12.
All right, scores for match number 12 going up on the screen. And it's going to be the Red Alliance winning this one. Final score, 61 to 40. Red Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match. It's already time for qualification match number 13. First up on our Red Alliance, we have 7704. Kimball E-Tech at Mountain View College. Up next, we have 7319. One up from Garland, Texas. Completing this alliance, we have 3282. Sponsored by 3M, it's the Dallas Robo Tigers. Over on our Blue Alliance, we have 1745. From Pierce High School, it's the P51 Mustangs. Up next, it's 6171. From Plano Senior High School, it's Chain Reaction. Completing this alliance, we have 7503. Radicubs from Frisco. Drivers behind the lines, three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here. Qualification match number 13. Chain reaction, setting a couple shots up high on the Blue Alliance's power port. P51s waiting with a power cell in their possession. Drivers taking control of their robots. 23-15, Blue Alliance in the lead early on. 73-19 on the Red Alliance side getting rid of their power cells. Meanwhile, Kimball E-Tech, that's 7704. They are a low port scoring robot trying to push some power cells down into the low port for the Red Alliance for one point apiece. Red now leading by three, 26 to 23. Blue Alliance trying to retake the lead. Here comes 7503, both their shots coming up a little short. Chain reaction looking for some power cells over on the far side of the field. Now here comes 1745 out of Pierce High School in Richardson. Waiting to take some shots on the Blue Alliance's power port. Meanwhile, here comes 7704 for the Red Alliance with three more power cells in their possession. 7319 taking a shot for the Red Alliance. Looks like the Red Alliance 
feeding power cells to 7704. One shot hit in the back of the gym. Red Alliance now leading six by six points, 31 to 25 with a minute left to go. 1745 getting stuck on the Blue Alliance's trench run. Meanwhile, chain reaction picking up some fouls, hitting 73 19. 7704 on the Red Alliance with two power cells in their possession, heading through the rendezvous point. Looks like we have a Red Alliance robot with their climber deployed early on before the 30-second mark here in match number 13. That gives the Blue Alliance a 43-31 to 31 lead here as we enter the final 30 seconds of qualification match number 13. 7704 of the Red Alliance trying to get into position to climb here later on in the match. 73-19, looks like they are almost hooked on for the Red Alliance. P51 Mustangs trying to get gripped onto that Blue Alliance switch. Looks like they are on, can they climb? Two seconds left, one, and that is the end of qualification match number 13. All right, scores for match number 13 going up on the screen. And it's the Blue Alliance winning this one. Final score, 48 to 46. Blue Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match. Starting things off for qualification match 14 on our Red Alliance. We have 33-70. From Irving, it's Aftershock. Up next, we have 77-49. Level up from Dallas. Rounding off our Red Alliance, it's 75-06. Sponsored by the Texas Workforce Commission, it's Wild Cards. 
over on our Bloom Alliance. We have 7120. Sponsored by Lockheed Martin, it's Thunder Chicas. Up next, it's 5212. Sponsored by the University of North Texas, it's Tam's Formers Robotics. Completing this alliance, we have 6751. From Sunset High School, it's Robo Flash. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here in match number 14. Looks like we have some Blue Alliance robots creeping towards their power port. All three of their power cells falling just short of the low port. Looks like that's all the action we're going to have here in Autonomous. As soon as take control of their machines, it's going to be a 15 to 10 lead in favor of the Blue Alliance. 6751. That's Robo Flash trying to pick up those power cells and score them down low. Look like they're continuing to have some problems scoring those one pointers. Meanwhile, in the rendezvous point here, looks like we have three robots tussling for some position. One shot going in by 7506, and that's going to help close the gap for the Red Alliance, who now trails by three points with 100 seconds left to play. 7506 trying to pick up another power cell, see if they can score a second one here in match number 14. Meanwhile, the Thunder Cheek is trying to pick up some power cells and score them down low. The Blue Alliance hanging on to a narrow three point lead with less than a minute and a half left to go. It's going to be a tight match as we head into our final 75 seconds. 6751 loaded back up with some more power cells heading over to that low port. Trying to feed them down low. All three going, no, two going in. And that'll help pad the Blue Alliance's lead. It's now 16 to 12 with a minute left to play. Robots looking for some power cells. 71-20, the Thunder Chica is trying to pick some up from the rendezvous point. Meanwhile, 75-06 over six for the Red Alliance trying to pick some up on the near side of the field. 
This match still very much in reach for the Red Alliance, who trails by just four points, coming up on 30 seconds left. Climbs could definitely swing this one in favor of the Red Alliance, or a couple power cells scored here in the final 24 seconds. Here comes 7120. They have a power cell barely in their possession. They're going to head over to the rendezvous point and park for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, 6751, Robo Flash reaching up for the Blue Alliance. Three seconds left. Two, one, and that's the end of qualification match number 14. All right, scores for match number 14 going up on the screen. And it looks like it's going to be the Blue Alliance winning this one. Final score, 56 to 17. Blue Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match. All right, we have a score change for match number 13. The updated results are going to go up on the screen. And it is the Blue Alliance winning final score, 83 to 46. Blue Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match.
Let's check out the robots in qualification match number 15. First up, we have 5682. Equus Engineering from Mesquite. Up next, we have 7321. Representing Irving, it's Aguila Robotica. Completing our alliance, we have 3282. From Dallas, it's the Dallas Robo Tigers. Over on our blue alliance, we have 5414. From Pearland, Texas, it's Paradox. Up next, we have 148. Sponsored by Innovation First International, it's the Robo Wranglers. Completing our blue alliance, we have 8055. From Frisco, it's Boss Bots. Drivers behind the lines, three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here in match number 15. 148, the Robo Wranglers heading over to the rendezvous point, trying to pick up some additional power cells. Blue Alliance has already completed their first stage. Looks like we're going to get five more shots out of the Robo Wranglers. 72-10, Blue Alliance in the lead early on here in match number 15. 54-14, that's Paradox heading over to their feeder station. It looks like they're going to try and load up some power cells. Meanwhile, 148 quickly scoring some power cells up high for the Blue Alliance. It's now 95-10 to in favor of Blue. Paradox heading over to their trench run. Looks like they are getting ready to try and make some long shots or they're just going to try and feed 148. Meanwhile, 148 sending another volley up high for the Blue Alliance as Blue now crosses the 100-point threshold with 90 seconds left to play. 56-82 has a battery hanging out of their robot here, barely in the rendezvous point for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, here comes Boss Bots making some long rangers for Blue as it's now 130 to 25 in favor of Blue. 70 seconds left to play. Boss Boss heading back over into the Blue Alliance's trench, trying to lock on to that Blue Alliance goal. They're sending some in. Meanwhile, 148 doing the same. A minute left to go. It's 137-25 in favor of Blue. Paradox making a shot up high for the Blue Alliance. Blue has now completed two of their three stages. Paradox heading over through the rendezvous point. Here comes Boss Bots. They're going to try and make some long rangers from deep inside the Blue Alliance's trench. 148 making another shot. It's now clearing up with power cells. Only power cells left are on the near side of the field in the Red Alliance's trench. Meanwhile, 54-14, 148 both trying to get hooked on to the Blue Alliance's switch. We haven't had a double hanging match yet. Looks like we have two robots up. That could be a third ranking point if they stay there at the end of the match. 10 seconds left to go. 143-25 is the score. That does not include any hanging points here. Three seconds left. Two, one, and that is the end of qualification match number 15.
All right, scores for match number 15 going up on the screen. In just a moment. Just kidding. All right, now scores for match number 15 going up on the screen. And it's the Blue Alliance winning this one. Surprise, surprise, everyone. Final score, 208 to 38. A new high score for the event. It's also our first three RP match. Blue Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match and a third ranking point for having at least two robots balanced on their alliance's switch. It's time to start qualification match number 16. First up on our red, we have 52-12. Tams Formers Robotics from Denton. Up next, we have 71-19. Sunset Robo Bison from Sunset High School. Completing this alliance, we have 75-03. Radicubs from Frisco. Over on our blue alliance, we have 77-49. From Dallas, it's Level Up. Up next at 66.72. From Irving, it's Fusion Core. Completing this alliance at 67.51. Robo Flash from Dallas. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here in qualification match number 16. Fusion Core sending some shots up high for the Blue Alliance. 
Blue's gonna start Teleop with a big 31 to 10 lead. And students take control of their robots. Meanwhile, 71 19 heading over into the rendezvous point, looking for some more power cells for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, Fusion Core loaded up with five power cells, sending two of them in for the Blue Alliance, 35 to 10. There goes another one in by the Blue Alliance. It's now 38 to 10 with just under two minutes left to play in match number 16. Fusion Core quickly reloading for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, Radicubs from Frisco has some power cells in their robot. They're looking to get lined up on that Red Alliance power port. Fusion Core making another round of sh shots as they're heading back into the rendezvous point looking for more power cells. 55 to 10, Blue Alliance in the lead with less than a minute and a half left to go. 71-19, that's the Sunset Robo Bison lining up for the Red Alliance. See if they're going to score down low. Each one of those power cells would count for one point apiece. Having some trouble aligning to that low port. Looks like they may be close to getting them in. There they go, both going in. And it's now 61 to 12 in favor of the Blue Alliance with 54 seconds left to go. 52-12 has their climbing hook sticking outside the rendezvous point. Don't think that's going to let them climb later on in the match. So Red Alliance may be down to no climbers. It's going to make it hard for Red to come back in this match. Meanwhile, Fusion Core taking another couple of shots up high on the Blue Alliance's power port. 64-15, Blue Alliance firmly in control here in match number 16. 25 seconds left to go. Fusion Core having some trouble getting lined up once again with their climber. Trying to find a good spot on that Blue Alliance switch to get hooked up. They climbed once before before their climber broke off. Still having some trouble getting hooked on with their one-way latch. 64-30, Blue Alliance still in the lead. And there's the buzzer on match number 16.
All right, scores for match number 16 going up on the screen. And it's the Blue Alliance winning this one. Final score, 74 to 35. Blue Alliance getting two ranking points for winning the match. All right, moving right on into qualification match 17. First up on our Red Alliance, we have 7704. Kibble E Tech at Mountain View College from Dallas. Up next, we have 6526. The Cyber Rangers from Naaman Forest High School in Garland. Completing this alliance, we have 3802. Robopop from Carrollton. Over on our Blue Alliance, we have 7506. Wild Cards from Arlington, Texas. Up next, it's 118. Representing League City, Texas, it's the Robonauts. Rounding up our Blue Alliance, we have 6171. From Plano, it's Chain Reaction. 